I remember I was crossing the Texas-Louisiana border. I was driving out to visit a credit union. Answer the phone. The doctor said, I have some bad news. Now, I've never told this story before. This is the very first time to share this publicly. And I got diagnosed with an autoimmune disease called ankylosing spondylitis. And the reason I share this story with you today is any time we are faced with a challenge, we have a choice. There's Stoic wisdom from Marcus Aurelius who once said, the impediment to action becomes the action, or as Ryan Holiday writes, the obstacle is the way. And as I look ahead towards the future, towards 2030, there are many obstacles that we are confronted with as financial brands. The obstacle can become the way. And that's why I also have some bad news to share with you today here. You're losing hundreds of millions of dollars right now. Deposits, loans, and it's none of your faults. I'm going to show you how we can stop losing these loans because of blind spots in our systems, in our processes, in our positioning. What I'd like to start off with is a little bit of perspective. Now write this down. Perspective equals context plus framing. And when we think about perspective, I now want to go back to 1994. Where were you if you were even alive back then? Because as I've used this as a horizon line in some universities, I'm like, okay, who was alive or who was not alive? Let, just to show it, who was not born in 1994? Okay. And I bring this up because they have a different perspective of the world. 1994 was a pivotal year. There's a couple big things that happened in 1994. That was the day that, or that was the year that the internet hit mass consciousness of humanity. So for all of you born 1994 or after, it's hard to gain some perspective here. July 5th, 1994 was the day that Amazon, Jeff Bezos founded Amazon and would transform the way that we shop. May 18th, 1995 was the day that Wells Fargo launched the first online banking platform. What about January 9th, 2007? Who recalls that moment in time? It was another transformational moment. Now, probably most every single, well, the majority of you here have one of these on you. It was the iPhone. That was the day that Steve Jobs got on the stage and launched what would become an internet communication device, a music player, and a phone. And since then, the iPhone has actually replaced over 100 different devices. My kids and I, we went garage selling a couple of weeks ago. We bought a VCR for $5, <laughs> and it works. But I'm like, you know what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this VCR and we're gonna flip it on eBay. Think about this for a moment. How much has transformed in a relatively short period of time? May 2011 was when the very first mobile banking platform came online. Now what about March 11th, 2020? What happened then? The world shut down. The world shut down. And since then, over the last two years, consider for a moment how much has transformed. This is why perspective is important. Perspective equals context plus framing. Complete this statement in your mind. The future is... <laughs> I like that. You just, you just played right into it. The future is scary, but the future can also be exponential. Once again, what becomes the impediment to action is our path towards 
action. The obstacle becomes the way, as Ryan Holiday has written. The future I look at is exponential. Digital growth is exponential. But here's your thing, back to your point. Change is exponential. Now, how does that make you feel? Be honest. He said scary up here. Who else would, 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 would fall into that camp, that change, exponential change can feel, maybe a few of these.